Folk Friday Comedy. Folk Friday Comedy. Folk Friday Comedy. The girl, she got an air cast on. Why y'all laughing? That's not funny. It hurts. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you why I'm going to pick up my check. And the air cast has everything to do with why I'm going to pick up my check. So I'm at work. Uh, I'm a teacher at a high school. Uh, I teach phys ed. Uh, some of you may know that. Some of you maybe not. So I teach phys ed. And I'm at work. This is, I say, the Tuesday before all the schools close. I'm at work. And I'm in the gym because that's, that's where I work, in the gym. And I'm on the basketball court. Now, I, I can't tell you why I'm on the basketball court um, for reasons uh, <laughs> that we ain't going to talk about. But I'm on the basketball court, nonetheless. I'm on the basketball court. That's a lot of laughter. Um, and so I'm on the court, and and there's a ball, and, and it, it, I, it, a, a certain type of ball, maybe um, soccer, maybe a basketball. I, I can't really say um, at this time until the investigation is over. Um, so I'm on the court, and there's a loose ball. Let's just call it a loose ball. Let's just call it a ball. And I'm going for the loose ball. Now, I used to play basketball when I was young. I still do play basketball um, now, uh, just not, you know, during school hours at work with other children. That's not something I do because it would be highly irresponsible. Uh, so I don't know why all this laughter is happening. Uh, so I I'm on the court, and, and there's a loose ball. I still don't know what kind of ball this is. So I'm going after the loose ball. And as I travel toward this loose ball, I see a freight train coming toward me. Not, not a physical freight train. Because, again, I'm inside of a gym. So there's no freight trains in the gym. Um, but there's like this six-year senior. Uh, Andre Giant looking dude. Like he, um, like 300 pounds plus. Like at least six foot four. Like this is a big dude. Um, full grown man beard. Like I'm like, you, you look older than me, bro. Like why are you still in the school? Uh, and so he, he's coming toward me at a very rapid pace. And so I, I see him in my peripherals, right? So on the sides of the, the head, my peripherals, I can see him, right? And I'm, so I'm traveling in this direction for the loose ball. And then he's coming in this direction towards me. And so I'm like, oh, I could jump over him. Now, I'm going to be very open and honest right now, folks. I have this reoccurring daydream where I'm like, no, this is real talk. Or I'm crossing the street. And as I cross the street, all of a sudden, this car comes out of nowhere, right? Almost blindsides me. I'm, I'm going to give you a little taste. All right, so the car is coming. And I'm out of my business, crossing the street. And so as the car comes, I jump up. Not your average jump, right? Not, not a normal, average human jump. I jump up, and I commence to do this like I'm crossing over a high jump bar. So my feet come up. <laughs> and as my feet come up, my bottom, my bottom, it, it, it passes over the hood of the car. It smashes the windshield. So, so, so I'm going, and then, and then I do a backflip, right? So I do a backflip, and then somehow I end up in, in, and I land, boom, on my feet, just in enough time to pull out my camera from my phone and take a picture of the license plate, right? So I have this. This is a reoccurring daydream that I have. Um, and I have it um, like every other time I cross the street, which is why I drive so much. Um, and so during this, this daydream, I have these unhuman-like abilities. And so I don't know what possessed me. Maybe it was my vivid imagination that I acquired from uh, all my expeditions in the library during my youth. That's funny if you caught the last show. You can catch it on sale. Yeah. So I convinced the jump. <laughs> and it was nowhere near like what happens in my brain. 
it was it was it was like more of like like a geriatric hop. <laughs> so I I jump and I, I'm I'm my attempt is to pull my legs in toward my my stomach. That that don't happen. Uh, and so when I land, I land on Andre the Giant's foot. I hit two pops. Pop, pop. My ankle goes to the left, and and as my ankle goes, uh, the rest of my body follows. Um, I'm not a doctor, um, nor am I a scientist, but I do understand inertia, right? So an object in motion will continue in motion unless it is stopped by an outside force of, of equal, right, uh, proportion. Like this, I, I, listen, I, I read a lot of books, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm smart, smart but chubby. Remember, smart but chubby. So my ankle goes pop, pop as I come down on Andre the Giant's foot. Now, as I come down on Andre the Giant's foot, I have stopped Andre the Giant's motion. So now his inertia done hit my inertia. And Andre the Giant is falling like a tree on top of me. So my life, seriously, my life literally flashed before my eyes. <laughs> and, and all I could think of was... Did I wear clean drawers today? And, and I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. So uh, in, the, in the, 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 the hope of, of not being embarrassed and embarrassing my mama, um, hindsight, I did. I did have on clean. It, it was good. It was okay later. I, I, I pushed Andre the Giant as much as I could, right? Um, in my mind, I was pushing him away from me, and I was going to be good. But in reality, he kind of just like rolled off of my elbows and, and fell on top of my leg. Yes, yes. So, so my ankle pop, pop, and now Andre the Giant is laying on top of my leg. Um, so I did what any teacher would do in my situation. I pushed the boy off my leg, man. Like, yo, you, you 300 pounds plus, you ain't supposed to be on my leg. So I, get off of me. Get off of me. Don't touch me. Right? So, so I pushed the boy off my leg, and he's like, Miss, Miss, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. You just fell on my foot. No, I'm not okay. Um, so my coworkers, everyone's trying to calm me down, blah, blah, blah. So we don't need to get into that anymore. Again, until the investigation is over, let's just say I was walking my, my business and then all of a sudden somebody ran into me, okay? So just let's, if you, anyone asked you, just that's, that's, that's the story. I'm sticking to it.